St James Church for this our very first Sunday morning Bible story time and each Sunday morning a member of our church is going to share a Bible story um, with you all. Now I don't know about you but it feels to me that it's a long time since Christmas. I wonder if you've still got your decorations or your Christmas tree at home, probably not. But here in the church we still have our crib up with the figures of Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus and the shepherds and the three wise men. And here, I don't know if you can see it, I've got the figure of the baby Jesus. And this morning we're thinking about when Jesus is still a baby. He is 40 days old and Mary and Joseph take him to the huge temple in Jerusalem, which was really, really big, much bigger than our church here. And it was a busy place with lots of people there. And they took Jesus to the temple because that's what new parents did in the Jewish faith. They took their baby to be blessed by God and to be offered to God. But when Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple, something rather unusual happened. So let me share the story with you. There were two very elderly people. An old man called Simeon, who was gentle and patient and wise, and who'd spent his days praying and listening to God. He had a strong faith and a hope in God, and he remembered God's promise to help his people. And Simeon often went to the temple in Jerusalem to say his prayers. And also, there was an old woman called Anna, who was 84 years old. And Anna's husband had died when she was a very young woman. And since then, she spent her time also in the temple in Jerusalem. And Anna loved God very much. And she'd sing praises to him while she went around doing her ordinary tasks. Now one day, although Simeon was very tired, he felt that he must go to the temple. The Holy Spirit prompted him to go. And that was the day that Mary and Joseph took their baby, Jesus, to the temple. And they went to take Jesus to ask God to bless him and to say thank you for his safe birth, because that's what Jewish families did. And the strangest thing happened. In all the busyness of all the people there, Simeon noticed Mary and Joseph. All his years of prayer and learning about his faith helped him to recognise that something very special was happening in the middle of the busyness. And he went over to them and he saw that this baby was someone very special. This baby was God's chosen one. And Mary let him hold the baby and Simeon cradled him in his arms. It's always very special to hold a new baby, isn't it? You have to hold them ever so carefully and gently. But it was even more special for Simeon. After all these years, Simeon said, God has kept his promise. I've seen it with my own eyes and now I feel at peace. Your child, he said to Mary, will be a light for all the world to see. Simeon was overjoyed. He had experienced something exciting and wonderful and new. It was a new beginning for God's people. That day was one he would remember for the rest of his life. 
and Anna was nearby and she came over to see what was happening. And then she too gasped and was filled with joy. She realized this was a very special child and she praised God and told everyone she met all about the baby Jesus. So let me light a candle as we think about Simeon's words, how this child would be a light for all people. And on this day in the church, we um, light lots of candles to remember these words of Simeon. And we praise God and say thank you for Jesus, the light of the world. Thank mm -hmm. you.